Okay. Hola, YouTube. My name is Ricardo Lino, and I'm a wheel addict. This is a different video. So, you know, we all think that we're very smart. And the other day, I thought I was very smart when I went to this Italian company called Roxa, R-O-X-A, and found a pair of boots called the Protec. They were a hard boot skate, which had like a raised heel. And I look at those and I thought, well, I think I can put some sole plates on that and make that a cool skate. And that's the skate that I got here right now with some Mesmer soles and a Create Originals frame. Now, in case you were curious, let me show you something. This cuff looks just like paper, meaning this skate may be extremely dangerous to skate. I don't know. I made a question the other day on my new Threads account. You know, Threads, the new social media platform, which is, what do you prefer? Is it a hard, soft boot or a soft, hard boot? And this is what I mean by soft, hard boot. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. I mean, really use this helmet because this thing offers no support. <laughs> Maybe it's gonna work. Let's find out, come with me. Okay, first round. <laughs> wow. For a couple of years, that's the only thing like people thought I could do. Too easy. Okay, so I've tried to do a couple of rounds on like a little wave, a little ledge, negatives, top sides, whatever. Now, what about this? Can I skate it? This is where I'm the most scared because the thing in a bowl, you would usually want to have a skate that is a bit more supportive. So, I would just see versus just a coping grind. Okay. It feels very, very um, flimsy. I don't know, huh? This is all just an experience, guys. Don't judge me here. It's all in the name of <laughs> the evolution of a skate. Okay, Let's try just the top sole there. So I need to, ah, that was weird. My front foot is sore. That's weird. It hurt my front foot on the top sole. Not even the top side foot. You know what? I would try a fish brand stall. A lot of people think that it's easier to do a fish brand stall if your skate allow you to move. I actually think it's better if your skate is supportive and you're really leaning in. So let's see what's happening here. Oh my God, even just going up the ramp feels wrong. <laughs> I kind of feel like I'm doing a fish run just on my toe, not on my knee at all. Okay, come on, now it's perfect. That's the record. Three, four. <laughs> I think I could be doing it here forever. Let's try something else. Okay, here's something that I really doubt that I can do, and that's the toe and a heel roll over this thing. Well, that's first try. Okay, toe press. Now let me go for the heel roll. I honestly think I need way more support for the, for the heel roll. Let's see, heel roll. Uh-huh. 
I promise you I'm trying, huh? Yay! Pan tries to do a one heel roll on that. Whoa, yo, 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 yo! Oh my god, my foot feel like paper. There's no support. <laughs> That was too slow. <laughs> oh, that hurt. The same keeps happening. I keep on feeling like my foot twists and I feel ankle pain, which is not normal usually. I would like to maybe try a torque. The boot touches early, I think. I hope I can, I can control it. Okay, I got it. Torque mission accomplished. Okay, let me just sit a bit and talk about it because these things feel extremely weird. Okay, let's talk about these things. The thing here is how far should you go with your customization and how soft is too soft? I mean, there's a lot of people that think the skates are too stiff or sometimes other people out there that think, oh, if I, if I cut it here, if I customize it, if I put these sole plates with those boots and with those frames, and somehow this kind of feels like an extreme. Basically, I bought a boot from the internet that I didn't know anything about. It's an Italian brand. This is made in Italy. It's a company that it's... I think they're more known in the skiing industry nowadays. Yeah, I take the sticker out and now it's a non-branded skate, you see? <laughs> but anyway, so it's a, it's a company that it's more known for making skiing boots. They actually even have a boot with intuition, like a skiing boot with intuition. They could probably make amazing inland skates, made in Italy, just like Roches. Let me just take this helmet because it's too hot. By the way, the new wheel addict helmet. I don't know if this is like a very old mold that they made, but somehow, especially with the cuff, because the problem with these, it seems more like it's the cuff being extremely soft, as I showed in the beginning of this video. This is not normal. It's like the thickness of the plastic, it's not different, but I, it kind of looks like this is more of a leather cuff than a plastic cuff. It's too soft, you know, like in, with some brands or some plastics being used, if I would do this, it would just break. These things, well, it doesn't really support anything. And what I felt today is like, while I was trying to do some grinds, I kind of felt what I usually don't feel with most skates. Like the other day I was doing a review of the faction and I said they're very soft and for some people they're too soft but you cannot compare the softness of the faction with these because it's like the faction have like a, a carbon shell and then yes it has a, a cuff that allows you to do some movement which allows you to do some top sides and some torques and backslides even with taller frames easier but there's a point of that skate that you will feel that it doesn't go more you know it kind of feels like oh it goes all the way up until here and from here I know that it doesn't go anymore with these it's just extremely soft when you're doing like example a top sole it kind of feels like you don't even need to bend your knees because you can just bend your foot which is extremely weird you can just I, I never had this before when I was doing a top sole I felt like my front foot on a top sole was bending too much and I started feeling my, some, some pain in my ankle. Also, when I tried to do the torque, I never had this before, which is like, all I could think is, I hope it doesn't stop me because if it stops, there's nothing that will stop me from rolling my ankle. And that's scary because I was feeling like once the foot locks, as much movement as I do, it doesn't translate to the grind. It's kind of like I could be trying to balance here and all that, but the boot will not move because it's kind of like this is so soft that as much as it moves here, this thing stays. So, yeah, the theme for this video is like how soft is too soft? I mean, like, 
This is for sure too soft. Please note that I was using a liner that will increase the support, like the Roches RL1 liner. Also, this is a very low boot. So I, I just want you to be aware. There's plenty of boots out there. There's plenty of sole plates. There's plenty of frames. But maybe not all of them are going to work. <laughs> so, yeah, we can all test, we can all try. We can all report to the rest of the community what works and what doesn't. And this video, it's exactly that. This Roxa ProTech boot does not work as an aggressive skate. It's extremely soft. Now, maybe with some changes with a cuff, that could be a different thing. Truth being said, I actually like how this boot looks. I don't like how shiny it is, but I like the shape of the boot. So, yeah, maybe there's something here. Who knows? That's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, do not forget to subscribe to the channel. If you want to support what I do here, you can always become a patron. I try to create lots of exclusive content for all my patrons. And yeah, if you, if you can support, I would highly appreciate it. If you can't, well, you can always subscribe because that one is for free and it also helps me a lot. And yeah, what else? If you like this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up. It really helps the YouTube to suggest this video to more, to more people. If you didn't like it, you can also give me a thumbs down, but please let me know in the comments what you didn't like. You can also let me know in the comments what you like or what type of combos or setups you would like to see. And to finish this video, as I usually do, just a simple reminder, and that is do not forget like ever ever do not forget why we all started skating with custom setups with with stock setups with whatever skates you have we all started skating because it's fun now cheers and see you soon i'm gonna try to keep skating this and i'm also gonna try to skate without breaking my foot which is more of a mission than i would thought anyway Cheers. I'm out. <laughs>